turtles are going in the water. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh, bam! Oh, it's so funny. Let me show you what kind of pastries they have. They have the vegetable pie, egg sani pastry, paluda. Paluda, this is a famous Sri Lankan drink that I never tried out. And this is the hostel room. So it has eight beds over here. And nobody's here right now, so I was like, might as well just show you how it is. Hello, and welcome to another beautiful day here in Sri Lanka. So currently we're at Marissa Beach, and this is how the beach looks like. But I want to show you right now. Check this out. Turtles are about to hatch, and let's see how it is. Look at all these little baby turtles. This is a big event that a lot of people here are lined up for. That these turtles, right now they're going into the ocean. They're going to be swift through the waves and then they're going to go and be little turtles in the ocean. Look at how many people are over here right now. Big crowd. This is actually the second time I'm seeing turtles go in the ocean here in Sri Lanka. They have a lot of hatcheries here in Sri Lanka. And the first time I saw it was in Hikadua, which I did make a small reel about it, but just look at these babies now. Unfortunately, I heard most of these are not gonna survive because they're gonna be killed off by other creatures. But yeah, let's, let's go around, check it out. Some more, let's see. Ooh, the first turtles are going in the water. <laughs> look at this guy. He's off the path. Oh, bam! Look, look at him. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. That's what's gonna happen to all of them, actually. Look at that big wave. Bam. Just gonna throw them down, and then they're just gonna come back when the next wave comes. The last time I was here, a lot of the turtles just fell on people. See this? Wow. Look at the turtle, what you see? The turtles went right over there. And he got released by the Sri Lankan Coast Guard. All right, sir. How many turtles will live out of all of them? Huh? 120. 120? Yeah. I'm saying, how many in total is 120 turtles? Yeah. How many will live? 50%. Uh, 50%? Oh, okay. So you're saying 50% will live. The rest will just die in the ocean by other crabs and other stuff. Just look how cute they are. Huh? Tomorrow, every day you release? 45 days. Oh, okay. So it takes 45 days for the egg to hatch. Okay, cool. That is so cool. Look at that. All those turtles are going towards the kids. Let's get another angle if we can. Little ninja turtles. Look at this guy. Wow. So they released 120 and he said there's a 50% rate of their survival. And it takes every 45 days for a new turtles to hatch. All right, really cool. Nice. Goodbye, little friends. Let's see them get splashed one more time by these waves. Look at this. Damn, it's the first time they're swimming. Ooh. Wow. Look, a lot of them are just in the water right now. Look at this. Hey, so you finally saw the turtles hatch. What? You finally saw the turtles hatch. Turtles, yeah. You know who I am? Yeah, oh, yeah, I yeah. <laughs> You're like looking at me like, what? You won't say No, yeah, because I remember yesterday we were talking about it. I don't know if you remember, but yeah. Yeah, I remember. 
remember. Yeah, yeah. it was just uh, how was it? Yeah, I I am so scared. Uh, not scared, but it's so hard when some other people see and everything like. Oh, and they're like coming. Yeah, and they come back. Yeah, and... I just really cute. Yeah, so I'm just recording them right now and showing yeah. people how it is. Cute little turtles. Yeah, it's so cute. But this is my third time at the so Oh, it's your third time? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was her first time, guys. The, the best thing was, uh, the first time I saw it was just me and like 10 other people. Yeah. We were not so much. Many people. Just Woo! I just been hanging out. I went yeah. to the beach, got a haircut, looking yeah. fresh, and now I'm recording this video. Yeah, yeah that's why I don't do like, your haircut. Oh yeah, and I'm not wearing my glasses too. Yeah. Cause usually I wear my glasses, yeah. so yeah. By the way, guys, she's from my hostel too, <laughs> just in case you don't know. And her name is yeah, what is it? Vilma. Yeah. Vilma, I remember yeah. Vilma. Yeah, I remember Vilma. Huh? Sam 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 Solomon. Yeah, it's Solo. You just call me Solo. <laughs> yeah. It's a beautiful beach, right? Yeah, it's really beautiful. Oh, I hope it, I really hope that it will be a good sunset or... Yeah. Alright, cool. Well, anyways, I'm with my friend right now, so I guess I'll see you. Yeah. Yeah, my friend's over there. Yeah. I think you're with a group of friends too, right? Yeah. Okay, Vilma. I'll probably... Yeah, Alright, oh, I'll see you. She's a nice person, yep. So that's how we're gonna start our vlog out today, guys. That being said, guys, that was a good start of the video. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna be walking around the beach, showing you a little bit around the beach real quick. It's actually about to be sunset pretty soon, but unfortunately we can't see the sun. But that being said, I may just continue this vlog in the morning, but we'll see how it goes. Anyways, catch you in the next shot. I hope you enjoyed watching the baby turtles get released on the beach. I enjoyed it, so I was like, I'm sure you will too. So currently, I'm back at the place where I'm sleeping, at my hostel, and this is the hostel room. So it has eight beds over here, and nobody's here right now, so I was like, might as well just show you how it is. Let me just show you how like one of the beds look like right now. This is how it is. And I'm only paying 7.5 USD per night, so I'll just give you a quick little room tour. Something that I really like about this hostel is it has an AC unit. You're probably like, what? What am I talking about? It has an AC unit. Doesn't everywhere have an AC unit? Well, actually, some places here you get a cheaper room rate if they don't have an AC. So just keep that in mind. But fans don't cut it right now because it's really hot outside. Like, you'll be sweating in your room even with a fan on. So AC, I love it because the last hostel, I did not have a fan, but it was really cheap though. Anyways, here is the bathroom area. I'll just give you a quick little overview of where I'm staying at. They have two showers, two sinks, and then also they have a place for the toilet. There's a toilet and another sink. Huh. It's not bad for $7.50. And then also they serve breakfast here, which is like $2.50. So let's go around a little bit of this facility. And then we're going to hit the streets of Marissa, Sri Lanka, one of the nicest cities here in Sri Lanka. Okay, well, let's just go down, actually. I think I grabbed all my stuff. Yes, I did. This is actually my bed. I love how they have curtains, because some hostels you go to don't have curtains, so it's nice. And here's like a little dry rack area. Garbage place. Garbage and recycling, actually. Okay, and this is outside. It's a cloudy day out today. And then right, right over there is a coconut tree. Believe it or not, isn't that cool? So let me just show you a little bit of the facilities and then we'll head out. So this area, they have a kitchen area where people could make stuff and then also they have a refrigerator here as well. Awesome. And yeah. Oh, and right now is Buddha's birthday or around Buddha's birthday. So that's why they have these like lanterns up too. Just to let you guys know. Okay, let's start to head out. Go downstairs. Hey. This is the reception area. It's one of the guys working here. Hello. I told them I was gonna make a little video. So here, if you want breakfast, you can get it from over here. And let me just show you what kind of breakfast they're serving. So in the morning for $2.50, you get scrambled eggs, 
some French toast and some other stuff, some fresh fruit. So it's really nice. And they also serve bread and coffee as well. Hi. Just making a quick overview of this place and then I'm gonna go outside. And you're the owner, right? Yes. So this is JJ's hostel and this is the owner and Marissa. So come to this place. I enjoy it, so I think you should too. Okay, let me just show the pool area real quick. And guys, no, I was not paid by him to promote it or anything like that. Just if I like a nice place, I'll show you guys. And even if I don't like the place, I'll still show you guys. So this is a nice place. So this place also has hostel rooms and I heard it also has uh, single individual rooms too. Some with fan and some with AC. So I advise you get the one with AC. And this hostel usually is really crowded, but right now it's the low season. So that's why you don't see that many people right now over here. This is a yoga area. Hello. So this is the yoga area where people do yoga, I guess around 7 a.m. Hi. That's my German friend. <laughs> oh, wow, what was that? I guess somebody just popped some balloon or something. And over here is the pool area. Cool, chill area so you can relax. But again, no one's here. It's, it's pretty much dead over here. Just only like a few people. Alright, gonna go to the beach. Bye bye. There's Django yesterday. We played Django with some of the people that are staying here at this hostel hotel. Okay, that's this place in a nutshell. And now let's head towards the streets of Marissa and see what we could find. Motorbikes too. So you can rent motorbikes here in Sri Lanka for like a thousand five hundred rupees, which is like around five dollars US currently. So a lot of these bikes are rented. And there's a lot of bike rental shops too. So let's hit the streets. Okay. And this is the sign too. It doesn't have his logo. Well, this is his logo, but it doesn't have like JJ Hostel on it. Okay, now we have to go this way to the beach. It's pretty quiet, like for like you walking. You walk for like about two, three minutes, it's quiet right now, but then afterwards it starts to become crowded and stuff. But I can show you how like a local neighborhood looks like in Sri Lanka. Uh-oh, fell some water, I hope it doesn't start to rain. It's drizzling a little bit right now, but it's not good if I'm recording. Something that's kind of funny is like every time when I'm going to the hostel or going out of the hostel, there are a bunch of stray dogs that are just chilling out in the streets. At first, I was like, oh, I don't like this because you never know like with stray dogs what they could do. But they seem pretty much friendly, so that's good too. So as I said earlier that, that currently it's Buddha's birthday or like it's Buddha's birthday weekend. So I don't know how many places are going to be open right now. But I guess we'll see and discover it for ourselves. So most of the beaches that I've been showing you guys are on the south, south side of Sri Lanka. And currently the season has just ended or it's going to end and a lot of people are migrating to like the east side of Sri Lanka. But unfortunately, I don't know if I want to show you the east side this time in Sri Lanka, but it's okay. You can see there's a lot of foreigners here too, visiting as well. Oh, come on, rain. Rain's starting to pick up a little bit. If it does start to rain heavily, I may have to stop this vlog. But I guess you'll see and find out. There's one pastry shop I want to show you guys that sometimes I go to these pastry shops. This one is like a famous one in Sri Lanka. I've noticed it in a few cities. Oh, what's happening over there? Interesting. See all that water dripping down? Hmm. Maybe it's some sort of like factory or something. It's weird, what is this? I hope the camera's capturing it. Oh yeah, and something I want to show you, because I also want to give you a feel of like a beach town area, of like how do beach towns look like in Sri Lanka. So most of the cities, they'll only have like one, one or two main roads in the beach towns. Like I've been to like three or four different cities now, beach towns. All of them just have like one main road to like buy food, get stuff. Then, I'll, then the rest like surrounding areas is kind of like where we came from which kind of sucks like at nighttime there's not so many things to do unless if you want to go to like a restaurant or if you're into drinking maybe go to the bar 
But other than that, like usually nighttime is pretty dead. But it's a chill, relaxed environment too. Let's see what shops are open, what shops are closed. So it's a Saturday right now, and because of you know the holiday, there's oh we'll see what's open what's not. This is called Car Car Gillis. Car Gillis, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, but it's the main like store in Sri Lanka. It's kind of like the Walmart of Sri Lanka. They don't have such a variety of food and also other stuff, but it's okay. It's like a big supermarket, I'd call it. This is the place you want to go to. Let's see. Pira and Sons. Great taste. It's 1902. They have this all over Sri Lanka. So let's go inside and see how it is. Hello, doggy. It's open. Hello. Okay, so this is the shop. It's a bakery. They have a lot of pastries and other goods. So let me just show you guys. Hi, sir. Just want to show a little bit of your place. We got strawberry donuts for 150 rupees. So keep in mind, about 320 rupees is one US dollar. Cheesecake 90. Ganesh, whew, it's really hot in here. Let me show you what else they have. They have different cakes too, so you get a full cake for 1,800, which is about like five, six dollars. And then you could get vanilla cake. Show you some of the prices. I did not know you could get cupcakes here. What? I think we're gonna have to get a cupcake. I did not know that. I love cupcakes, guys. Well, let me show you what kind of pastries they have. They have the vegetable pie, egg sandy pastry. So, and I've noticed in Sri Lanka they really like uh, pastries. You guys really like pastries, yeah? Yes, yes, very yeah. And this shop is famous. Sri Lanka, they have some about 200 branches. Of this one. Yeah. It's the best. Yeah, because I, I went to the other one in Gaul. In Gaul, yeah. they have one. Yeah, I went to Gaul and then also another one too. Good price and good food. And good people, right? Yes, good people. <laughs> He's the manager. Oh, uh, the manager. Okay, cool. All right, let me let me order some stuff. All right, can I get one vegetable pie, please? Take away here. Yeah. Uh, take away. No, for here, actually. For here. Ooh, chicken Chinese roll looks good too. Okay, one vegetable pie, one uh, chicken Chinese roll. And let's see, what else do I want to get? The choices. And you know what, let me get one cupcake. The white one. Chocolate, uh, Vanilla. Yeah, I think that's enough carbs for me. And then also, what kind of drinks do you have? So you have yogurt. Uh, Faluda ice coffee. What's Faluda? Is, that, is this a Sri Lankan drink? Yes. Faluda. Okay, let me have Faluda. Awesome. How much is Faluda? 220. 220. Okay, yeah. kind of pricey drink. Okay, let me try it out. This is famous in Sri Lanka, right? Hi, right, how are you? You good? Awesome. Faluda. That's okay, I got it. I'll open it. Whew. Let's see the total, guys. So two pastries, a cupcake, and faluda. 690. 690, very good. Okay, I will give you 1,000. This is how 1,000 looks like, guys. Grab some napkins. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Let's put this extra change. What is this? Oh, let's put this here. Thank you. Uh, just one second. Okay. I'm probably gonna go sit outside. Thank you. Oh. Okay, I'll sit here. Thanks, bro. Thanks, Okay, this is the food, guys. Let's sit down real quick. Oops, my bag fell down. Okay. How's it going, guys? It's about 13 minutes in. Just gotta organize my money. Okay, money's in the pocket. 
Well, let's see. So this is what we got, guys. So we got a uh, vegetable puff. Then we have this Chinese roll. And then a cupcake. And as like I said, there's like about 200 locations it's all over Sri Lanka. So PNS, if you want some cheap, delicious pastries, go here. They should sponsor me because I'm promoting their business. I promoted now two businesses, but it's okay. I do not mind at all. Oh, and the pastry is warm too. So I guess that was like uh, in the glass. They don't seem 100% fresh, but they seem uh, fresh. Though. Sorry, they don't seem 100% fresh, but they are warm. Okay, what's first things first? First, and here's a tomato ketchup of Sri Lanka. Kind of has a spicy kick to it. I tried out the tomato ketchup before, but let's have some ketchup. I don't know why I'm saying tomato ketchup. Because I guess I was in Malaysia and they usually call it uh, tomato sauce or something. Because ketchup means something else in Malaysian. Anyways, let's start. Okay, as always, bismillah. First bite. Mmm. So let's see what's inside. So it's been fried, I can tell, and this is the filling. Chicken with some carrots, and I think some cabbage as well. It's kind of like, a, it's a Chinese spring roll. And dipping it in the ketchup, really good. Mm. I think I can have like 10 of these. And if you do want to come to the shop, I notice not all the time they don't have all the pastries available. So try to get here early so you get all the all the varieties. Okay, that was good. I'm gonna continue eating that, but let's try out the, this other one too. Okay, this is a vegetable puff pastry. crumbs all over my mouth so it's flaky and inside of it it's like some potato lentil thing okay there we go it's dull like potato lentils and some spices it's really good let's get another try i approve now let's try this one out. Paluda. Paluda, this is a famous Sri Lankan drink that I never tried out. I think it's like yogurt based. I uh, actually can't do it with one hand, hold on. I might make a mess. Adjust the camera. See you, take care. Where are you from? From America. Huh? America. America? Yeah. Uh -oh. Where are you from? I'm from here. Are you from Marissa? Yes. Nice. I have a that, yeah. So this one, this is Faluda, it's famous drink in Sri Lanka, yeah? yeah? But uh, it's not sweet, no? Oh, it's very sweet? Yes, yes. Ah, okay. My first time trying it out. Oh, good. See you then. Nice Bye. to meet you. That guy was nice. All right, let's try out Faluda, guys. Uh, man, I have to like duck down like this because my, uh, what's it called? My tripod is not working that much. It's broken, my tripod is broken. This is like the third GoPro tripod I got. It's annoying. Anyways, let's try out the Faluda guys. Oh, and they give you a paper straw too, so they care about the environment here in Sri Lanka. Let's try it out. Looks like it's a strawberry drink, just straight off the bat, and there's like some things like inside of it. What's this? these black things? Mm. Trying to get with a straw, one of them. Kind of look like chia seeds, but well, anyways, let me try it out. It's enough. It reminds me of like, I'm drinking right now strawberry yogurt. Strawberry yogurt and... I believe it's chia seeds. Chia seeds. So strawberry yogurt, chia seeds. Oh my God, there's so many flies around me. Move flies. That's something I hate is when you're eating outside the flies, but if I went inside, it was very hot. That's right. Well, anyways, yeah, I'm gonna finish up this faluda, finish up these pastries, and I'm sure the cupcake. Let me just get a little. What is that on top of it? Oh, 
probably part of the pastry. Let me just have a quick little bite of the cupcake just to let you guys know if it's good or not. Because I do love cupcakes. And let me know, do you love cup cupcakes as well? Mm -hmm. It has some sort of fruit in it. The frosting is buttercream, which is good. I approve. All right, so let me finish all this stuff. Yeah, I think it has raisins inside of it. So let me finish all this stuff. Relax a little bit, and I'll catch you on the next shot. Peace. So one of the workers is throwing down something over here, but I don't know what it is exactly. What is that? What are you putting on the ground? Is it for the bugs? Oh, it's to kill the ants. I mean, not the, it's for the flies. Oh, the flies will eat it, and then they die? Oh, okay. Cool, I've never seen that before. Let me see it. Wow, interesting. Yeah, I was just eating and I saw that and I never seen that in my life. So I was like, might as well show you it. It's really interesting. We see over here, uh, they have the lanterns as well. And then usually Buddhists, because Sri Lanka is predominantly a Buddhist country, they have all these different like colored flags. And you can see over here, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, the wine store across from us is closed. Like I said, because it's Buddha's birthday, people shouldn't be drinking alcohol, apparently. At least that's why I heard. So it's actually illegal to sell alcohol right now. Anyways, guys, just a quick update. Still finishing this paluda and this cupcake. And I will see you in a bit. Well, that was delicious. All that for 690 rupees. That's around $2.30. Now we are on the way to the beach. So the beach is that way. And here's the main road. So which way should I go? Actually, let me show you a little bit more of the main road and then we'll go to the beach because I know there's one way to cut through to go to the beach. And what I've no noticed also here in Sri Lanka that a lot of the beaches, they don't have like a main entrance. Usually you have to go through like a hotel or go through like some restaurant in order to go to the beach. So pretty interesting. Hello. Oh, look at this over there. They have pumpkins. Interesting. And then what I noticed in Asia, you've probably seen it in my like Malaysian videos or also my Indonesia video, they have like these gaps in the road that I wish they could like make it for a sidewalk, but they have this for, this is like the drainage system. Pretty interesting. Because in America, we don't have these kind of things. We just have like, kind of like this and it's like straight up and then we have like these like drainage things, like drainage openings kind of like that. Yeah, also there's no sidewalk here too, so you have to like kind of walk in the road. Yeah. Unfortunately, I wish they had a sidewalk. Nippon paints. So Nippon is a Japanese, or well, Nihon is, I mean Japan, and Nippon is paint. So this is like a Japanese paint company. And then also they have Kansai too. I guess Kansai is also another paint company as well. And Kansai is a place in Japan. So this, this is like a popular paint company here in Sri Lanka. And I believe it comes from Japan. And you see these buses over here. These big buses will take you all around the coastline. So if you want a cheap way to go around Sri Lanka, take the bus. And you can use Google Maps. And Google Maps will tell you like what bus to take to like what location you need to go to. This is island life, guys. So far, the vibes here in Sri Lanka are very relaxed and laid back. Let's see, how do I get... No, okay, I think I just keep on walking to show you. Little stray dog over here. Okay, it looks like we could cut in one of these places in order to go to the beach. I think there's one place up up ahead that we could cut through. The tuk-tuks of Sri Lanka. Hi. Hello. Let me show you guys some Sri Lankan food and show you like how much are the prices, just in case you ever come. So they have fried rice, fried noodles, some bites, 
Sri Lankan rice and curry. So rice and curry is very famous. You get a rice and curry dish for only 900 rupees. That's about like $3 USD. So here are the prices in Sri Lanka for beachside food. Well, actually we're not on the beach technically, but right next to the beach. Because if we're on the beach, the food will be a little bit more pricier. And then here's a roti shop. Banana, chocolate, cheese. They love rotis here in Sri Lanka. But it's closed because probably because of the holiday. Roti is my love language. I love roti too. Okay, I think we have to go back this way in order to go to the beach. Let's cross. I think the it's clear. Yes, yeah, pretty much clear. There we go. And then we can walk around the beach and show you how it is. Some more Sri Lankan food, guys. Mmm, so tasty. For me, Sri Lankan food kind of uh, reminds me of Indian food. Really similar. I could be mistaken, but they like rice and curry. They like samosas, they like roti. All oh, this is pretty similar to like Indian cuisine as well. And I'm not complaining, I love that. And they do love to eat spicy as well. So if you ever do come here and you can't handle the spice, then you're out of luck. Now I'm just playing. Just try to tell them the less spicy and try to double check anytime you get something. Marissa Village. So this place over here, if you want to rent a place, $40, $25, $30, and $20 for the budget room. And some of the prices here too uh, are in USD because I heard actually some hotels prefer to get USD than Sri Lankan rupees just because the currency in US dollars is more stable. Show you a little bit more of this place. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Four stars, Marissa. See, now we get the sand over here, so you know we're getting closer to the beach. <clears throat> Today has been a cloudy day, but it's okay. I would love to show you on a more sunnier day, but I'm here for a limited of time. I may leave tomorrow back to Colombo. <clears throat> Still got one more week left. Big German Shepherd. Uh, uh, music and that's not good for copyright issues so we gotta go fast <clears throat> and I have to talk through the music but here is the beach guys check it out you gotta go fast oh check it out okay less music oh wow the, it looks like the tides are high today <clears throat> So I heard one of the reasons why it's uh, slow season right now is, well, you can see there's a good amount of people on the beach, honestly. I don't think it's like slow season, but I heard it, it's gonna like dwindle down after a week or two. And the reason why that is, is because uh, surfers can't really surf over here because I forgot why. I don't know, either like the waves are not as big as it used to be or something about, something about the waves and the tides. <clears throat> but let's see, which way should we go? <clears throat> so the beginning of the video, Previously, we started here on the beach, which is to the right near the lifeguard place. That's where, what's it called? They released the turtles. But uh, I'm trying to think what's a nice place to show you. Over there, there's like a little like rock island that I heard when the tides are low or like when the water level is low, you could walk to that. Now let's just walk around a little bit in this area. All right. So you can see on the beach, there's some places that are open and I guess they are serving drinks and food too for people too, so the beach is still open right now. Nor normally it is open, but you know, because of the holiday. I mentioned it like 10 times already, yeah. Surf school over here, surf school lessons. Yeah, so if you're into the, uh, surfing, snorkeling, and I heard also Marissa, they have whale watching as well. Uh, you could do that here too. So if you, love, if you love water activities, come over here and it's fun. You know what uh, Sri Lanka kind of reminds me of? It reminds me of Thailand, exactly like Thailand. There's a lot of beaches and you're in Asia, it's hot. 
really gives me Thai vibes. But uh, Sri Lanka isn't really as famous as Thailand. For, you know, the tourist industry is not as big because they've been having a, quite a few problems, unfortunately. But I think it should pick up. I just remember, I need to make a thumbnail for my video, but I don't even know what kind of thumbnail I should do. Right, I guess I'll figure it out after I'm done recording. Ooh, look at this, guys. Wow. Yeah, the other day I was here and the water was not that deep. Like this. And it did not come that close. I think, guys, I'm going to finish the video right now. Do you have an idea of how the beach is? It's beautiful. A lot of people from other countries hanging out, also locals too. Yeah, man. So that's about it. And I'm gonna finish the video right now because I have to walk over there because I was borrowing my friend's raincoat. My friend's raincoat is here. Yeah, and my friend's hotel room is over there. So I'm gonna walk over there for a bit, return the raincoat and I will see you on the next one. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. And I'll catch you later. Bye, guys. <laughs> With my shoes, my sandals. Oh, and if you want to see more videos around the world, click somewhere up on the screen.